take to actually get a book published? Today we're going to be taking a look at both traditionally and indie published books and breaking down exactly how long it takes within the process of getting your book from being written to being on bookshelves. So when it comes to this, there are actually some huge differences when it comes to time frames in the traditional and indie world. You want to make sure that you are aware of what type of publishing you're jumping into first. So if you have not checked out those videos yet on what indie publishing is and what traditional publishing is, hit up the description bar down below, then come back and watch this video because it's kind of important to have that information before we dive in. So in the world of traditional publishing, you are going to write your book, then you have to self-edit your book, you've got to get some beta readers, you've got to edit based on their feedback, and then you have to go through the querying process. You're going to get yourself an agent, which could take a couple of weeks to a couple of months to a couple of years, and then they are going to have to take your book and edit it for you. So they're going to edit your book, make you make changes. Once you've done that, you are then going to give it back to your agent who then takes it to different publishers and shops it around. So at this point, you're writing your book, so however long that takes. You're getting your editing feedback and you're dealing with all of that. You are going to then go ahead and query, which could take weeks to months to years. Then you are going to go through editing with them. So whenever they have time, they're going to edit your book for you. They're going to go through and tell you what changes you have to make for them to feel comfortable selling it to a company. And then you are going to have to make those edits. At that point, they have to decide who they're going to shop this around to. So they have to go out to their contacts. They're going to have to put out some feelers, see what's going to be maybe a good fit, who might be interested. And then they're going to have to get all the documentation ready. They're going to have to talk up your book and then they're actually going to have to send it over. At that point, the publisher is then going to take time to read through your book. This could be a very quick process if they're good friends with your agent and they are going to want to get that a little bit faster if they feel like it's going to be a good fit for them. This could be a little bit longer if they have other work to do, if they're working on other books, if they've got things that they think they could sell a little bit faster, a little bit better, a little bit stronger than yours. So this could take anywhere from months to years or weeks. It could it could be very quick in the turnaround time, especially if your agent is really, really good at selling your book. But typically, this is going to take a few months for them to then shop it around. Now, at this point, this is up to your agent's discretion. They can decide if they're going to then shop it to more people or to less people. So if they think they have the perfect fit, they'll probably take it to that publisher first and let them have first dibs. If they say no, they're going to probably go through a couple of other publishers that they're working with. And once they get through their people that they're close with, that they feel comfortable working with, they can then decide whether or not they want to take into outside publishers. Some agents will do this. Some agents will say, I'm sorry, we can't sell your book try again with another book. And that will be the end for your book. Your only other option will be to do it yourself or to get another agent or to try going to publishing houses yourself. But that usually means you're going to have a lower chance of selling it and you're going to be getting lower royalties on this or a, a lower uh, advance on your book. So this is a long process. Once a publisher has accepted your book, then it usually takes about a year to put your book out because at that point you have to go through at least one, two, maybe three or more rounds of editing for your book. They send it to a professional editor and they go through it. They make a whole bunch of notes for you, a whole bunch of things you have to change, and then you have to come back and change all of those things. Once the company is satisfied with those changes, so it has to go through an editor, back to you, then back to either an editor if they feel like they want an editor to go through it again, or to your publisher who is going to go through it and then accept what you have changed, what you haven't changed, all those fun fabulous things. Once they're done with that, then they're going to have to go through the process of formatting your book. So that's ebook that is paperback, that's hardcover, that's whatever they're selling it as, they have to get it formatted. They have to have a cover designed. So they're going to hire a cover designer. Now some companies have in-house designers, so that'll be a faster process. If they're outsourcing it to other companies and they're using some of the good cover designers, they can be booked up for weeks, months. Some of them are even booked up for years. So you have to be aware that it's going to be a process to get it formatted and to get a cover designed. Then we're going to have to put everything together and they're going to have to send it to the printers and the distributors. This takes time for them to go through and approve the files, make sure everything's good, and then print copies. If they're doing a run of your book, that means they're printing maybe 1,000 copies, 2,000 copies, 5,000 copies at once. And so you have to wait for them to print all of those and then ship them to your publisher. And then your publisher has to ship it to you to approve. And it's just a very long process. If you're doing print on demand, it might take less time to get that printed, but we still have to go through the file approval process. 
At that point, they're going to have to figure out which companies they're going to work with to sell your book. So is it going to be in bookstores? If you're working with a high-end publisher, so one of the best publishers in the industry, they'll get you into bookstores. But most companies have maybe some local bookstores work with them, but not a full chain of bookstores work for them. Um, sometimes books are denied, sometimes they're taken in from smaller publishers or bigger publishers. It really just depends on the relationship they have, how likely the company feels they can sell the book, so the, the book chain stores, the bookstore chains. Um, and it, it really comes down to a number of factors. And so you can actually be approved to be on all shelves in all bookstores and then denied later on. You could be denied and then picked up later. You can be in local bookstores. You can be in certain bookstores, but not all their bookstores. You can be in big chains, but only in certain stores, in certain locations. There's a whole realm that we could be discussing when it comes to getting your books into bookstores. They have to go through the process of figuring out when that's going to happen, when the release is going to be, and then they got to get to the marketing. So they have to figure out a marketing plan, when they're going to start doing things, if they're going to be sending you somewhere. Now, please be aware, most authors don't get sent on book tours unless you are an established author and you are like guaranteed to sell tons and tons and tons of copies. They're really not going to send you on these book tours. You can get some gigs yourself. You can go to different conventions, but it tends to be up to you in that particular certain circumstance. Um, they have to decide what they're going to be doing, what giveaways they're going to be doing, if they're going to be doing blog tours, if they're going to be doing YouTube tours, if they're going to be doing uh, different types of advanced reading like working with NetGalley. So they have to go through all of these different things. So minimally, when a traditional book is published, after the publisher has accepted it, usually it's about a year or more until your book comes out. So start to finish, this could be minimally of a little over a year to several years to get your book out into the public. Now, let's talk about indie. When it comes to indie publishing, you're in charge of you, so you work at your pace. You get to make the decisions, you're not waiting on people. And so, you can actually write your book, get your beta readers to read it, edit it, self-edit it, send it off to your professional editor. As soon as they are done with it, they can get it back to you. And then you can handle your formatting, your cover, and getting it listed on the book buying websites and in bookstores if you want. And you have the ability to get that out as quickly as you want. So most people, it can be within a couple of months. Standard, you're going to be looking at maybe two or three months, depending on how quickly you are writing this book. For me, I could have a book start to finish fully written, edited, formatted, covered, printed, published, and out for people to consume within two weeks of me starting to write it. But that's just because I'm a fast writer. I write a full-length novel in nine and a half days, and if my editor is on top of her game, she can knock that out and get it back to me really fast, and then I can just power out my own formatting because I'm a professional formatter, and my own cover because I'm a professional cover designer. Please note, if you're not a professional who has a decade of experience and really understands this industry and genre covers, please don't make your own cover. You will be shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to your book. Hire a professional. But if you are fast about this and you know what you're doing and you've got people to kind of show you the way if you're new, you can get a book out really, really fast. It doesn't have to be a long drawn out process. Most people are aiming for about mm, three to six months from the time they are writing their book until their book is coming out to the public. And that's a pretty good turnaround time, but it really can take however long you want. I do recommend if you are writing a series as indie author, you're putting that out as quickly as possible. So I do recommend Write your book, have it ready to go, but don't put it out. Write the second book, have it ready to go, but don't put it out. Write the third book, have it ready to go, and then when the entire series is finished, put them out one month, next month, the next month, the next month, because that is going to lead to bigger sales for you. But you don't have to take my advice. You can put them out whenever you want. You just don't want to make people wait really long amounts of time in between books like they do in the traditional world, because let's just be honest, who wants to wait a year or more for your favorite book? That was my reminder that I need to tell you that we've got new videos out on YouTube. We'll come back to that one. But we are going to uh, be continuing to discuss how we can be publishing in the publishing world, indie to traditional publishing. And the truth is, indie publishing is a lot faster than traditional publishing. But you don't necessarily get the audience built in with indie publishing that you do in the traditional publishing world. So let me know, what do you think? Do you prefer the time frame for indie publishing or for traditional publishing? Do you want to wait years to get your book out or do you want to get it out in a couple of months? It's entirely up to you. Now if you've got questions about the traditional or indie publishing world, I would love to get those answered. Hit the subscribe and notification bell and then get into my comments and let me know which type of publishing sounds better to you at this point. Hint. 
one of these makes more money than the others and it's not the one you think. So we're going to be breaking down more of this in our upcoming episodes. We've got lots of great questions coming in on TikTok and through our email, our Instagram, and our Facebook pages on how to navigate the publishing world. And I would love to get your questions answered for you. P.S. Come hang out with me on social media because especially on TikTok, I'm breaking down some cool dang things for you guys and answering your questions. But I would love to see you on all the social media platforms where we are answering your questions and showing you the behind the scenes of my books, of the publishing world, and all things bookish. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video where we're continuing our discussion on how you are able to succeed in the publishing world if you are an aspiring author. I'll see you there.